Hey, what's up guys? We've got a uh, 2000 Buick LeSabre, um, all keys lost. Uh, this is the 10 cut uh, B102 Lishi transponder B99. Um, the Lishi does not work in these doors. Forgot which one it calls for, but it's no, you know, no point in me kind of even holding, having that Lishi. But um, anyways, so we're just gonna pick over our ignition single-sided lock and uh, pull it out and read our code. We've got two Torx bolts underneath here. Uh, I've already pulled those. So let's see if this will come out nice and easy and drop your bottom shroud here. And this one is like, this one can be a beast, you know, to get uh, off and on, but I'll try to leave it there, see if that'll give me enough room. Um, and let's see what else we got here. We've got the thumb turn. I'm gonna have to pop that off. We should be able to just do it with the flat head. Oh, and then here's your uh, your steering wheel tilt. You'll see the pocket that it kind of goes into on the side, um, you know, to let you drop your steering wheel up and down. Um, but you just put a pair of vice grips on there and it just comes right out, clips right back in. So you'll have to take that off. Now let's see if we can pop down this, uh, pop off this thumb turn. It's been a while since I've done one of these ones. Let's see. There we go. Comes right off with your flat head, just nice and gentle. Let it pop down, uh, no harm done. That just pops right back on there. When we put it back on, probably tap on it with a hammer or something. That'll be easier to get it back. Uh, what's next? Oh, you know what, I remember this one. So we've got like two security bolts up here um, that we're gonna have to get in there. I'm gonna have to pull this down. I might have to remove this bottom kick panel to get there, we'll see. Um, yeah, that's gonna suck, man. Ah, there we go. Just a little bit of force and just pops right down. Does not look like we broke anything. That's good. So anyway, we'll have to pull this one down. That'll probably be enough right there, but there's two um, security bolts in here, you know, that are holding this one in. So let me get in there and see if we can find that. And the sun is right in my face, man. Okay, so I can see my my security bolts. It's like a reverse Torx and shit, man. I don't think I have any of those. That's something to get right there. Yeah, I don't have any reverse Torx. That one, there's a chance that one fits. Ah, oh, that's so close not quite those ones up there man they're just overkill um but yeah i don't have one that fits those so it's all good there's always ways around it put this back in there we'll get uh, i think last time i was able to reach up there with my pliers and pinch it and unscrew it um so you know this one obviously does take some time definitely easier with uh, just pulling code on it but I don't have access to that right now and we'll just go ahead and do it this way the fun way so there's that one and you can kind of see what that looks like it is a Torx head um, but it's a reverse Torx, it's a security Torx. So I don't, really don't think I have anything that fits that. Not at all. So you can see how much of a pain that is to get out. But what else can you do, huh? I'm not a code porn type of guy. Okay, that might that was the only one. Cool. So that's the only one there. Drop this back down. Just gotta get that enough out of the way. This is why I hate these ones. 
There we go. So that's all I need. And then of course we've got our our active retainer, our detent right there where my index finger is. You know, you, you know where it's at. So now I'll get my I've got my sidebar in there. Grab some picks. Got our house pick here. Grabbed out the wrong one. My house pick, and then I've got one of these uh, shovel picks. That's what I use for my sidebar right in there. Put pressure on the sidebar. You see the hole if you're in here. Let's see. Single sided, they are on the bottom. Sun right in my eyes, man. I can't see if it's going down or not. But... I really don't think I got it. Oh, felt the click. Get my side, my screwdriver ready. Let's see. We'll just start raking it again. Feels like it's a double-sided lock, man. I'm like pretty anxious to see what it is. Definitely feels double sided, man. Oh, my technician wants to work with me today. There we go. So, as you can see, we just turned it. So, car will not crank, but we'll have to get the ignition to the on position, or I'm sorry, the run position to uh, poke and pull I'll get my 90 degree hook pick right in our uh, right in our hole right up there you guys all know where it's at foot on the brake for safety measures there's on position we have to get to run and poke and pull there's our there it is bam bam so I'm going to get in here and turn that off and you just gently get in there and all the way back is radio on and then I think you got to go forward one. Nope, we'll just go all the way back because battery won't die anyway. But anyways, there's our, uh, you can't see our key code on the back but it is 58 one two and this code series starts with the uh, an o as in oscar um, but there's our um, key code right there so o five eight one two we'll go put that in the system see what it shows us um and then just real quick we can show you and this one it, it is a double-sided cylinder this buick was um see i was wrong when i said single-sided um, obviously we know it's double sided cause we got wafers on that side and that side. So double sided. Um, but you can see our sidebar right there. So what I did with my pick, you know, here's my sidebar, right? There's your sidebar, the biggest, there's your security to get it to turn. Got my pick in there and you just put pressure on it. See, I got my pick you know pretty much lined up perfectly with the sidebar inside the housing and you put pressure on it and then you just start raking start raking it you know like a house lock and then you know eventually that's the wafers will sit in place and the sidebar will sit down and you can you know turn it poke and pull it um, so there's that we'll go make a key to that and we'll be right back all right guys we're back we've uh, made our key and there you have it and there's a sidebar sitting flush check my key in the doors it works all those check the little glove box right here works our glove box um, but as you can see 
uh, for those of you who don't know, you know, the sidebar, there's our sidebar right there. You can see it sitting up. As soon as we insert the key, it sits down. So that's, uh, that's what lets us, you know, throw it back in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything back on right here before I insert our uh, lock cylinder back in uh, just to maybe make it easier. Um, but that's it. There it is right there. And then everything should, you know, just slap right back into place. Uh, you should, you'll probably have to fight it. Uh, not so much. So cool. Let's see. Hey, sorry guys, phone ring again. Uh, it automatically stops video. But anyways, there it is. You know, for the most part, it's put back in. So we will uh, get all our clips put back in there. And uh, well, here's our, we can go ahead and put our, our chip in there. Or our, our lock cylinder back in. So I will turn this to the on position, not crank, on position engine off. Um, and then we will actually, before I put it back in, use, I put on my thumb turn right here. <sighs> now, nah, you know, it's easier to put it on with it installed. So nonetheless, you can, once you're looking at it, you can see that groove down there, which is where the retainer goes, your detent. You just throw it right in there, man. Oh, I'm sorry, that's up there, not on bottom. I'm retarded. The bottom is for this little groove coming off the bottom, which uh, does nothing, just maybe keeps it from coming out. The top top uh, groove is for your top detent right there. There it is. So there's that. <clears throat> Key's good. And then I'll grab this, and you've got to make sure you line it up pretty good. And Give it some taps and it goes right in. There it is. Thumb turns back on. <coughs> Grab our key. And there it is. So, there we go, man. 2000 Buickle Saber uh, 10 cut B102 Keyway B99 Megamos 13 Transponder Key. Uh, they want two, so we'll cut another one and get to programming, do our 12-minute wait, and I'll be out of here. So there it is. Uh, fairly simple. Uh, any questions, just ask. Thanks, guys.